As many schools plan to allow kids back into the classroom later this summer, Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey wants to know what Congress can do to help. To ensure that these students can continue to be provided with a high quality education. Tennessee Education Commissioner Dr. Penny Schwinn and other experts told senators schools will need more money to be sure students and teachers can safely return to school. The challenges that we face are large. We must keep people safe and we must keep kids educated. Schwinn said schools will need additional deep cleaning, as well as protective equipment, including masks, for their students and teachers. Casey worries that some students, especially those with learning disabilities, will suffer because of the disruption caused by the virus. We have to bear in mind these inequities, these disparities. Education Trust President John King says Congress should help schools focus on those students. We've got, got to make sure that we make up for the lost time this spring. And then we've got to have uh, the resources for schools to provide additional um, intervention. And even as the virus recedes, some schools will not open their doors for the next school year and students will need to continue online classes. Congress should allocate at least $4 billion to the FCC's E-rate program to provide hotspots and access to bandwidth. The group says Congress needs to help schools keep their promises to families, that their children will have access to a safe, high-quality education. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.